I'm Emma for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Google I.O. took place on May 11th and 12th. And in case you missed it, here's what you need to know from this year's online event. First up is AR, and the future of augmented reality is looking bright. Now, the new AR Core Geospatial API is here to use. Developers can easily create immersive experiences on Android and iOS at no cost and make them available in 87 countries. You can also place AR content in real-world locations without being there or having to scan the physical space. With AR Core, developers have access to tools they need to build experiences that seamlessly blend the digital and physical worlds. We're also releasing Balloon Pop, an open source demo to give you an easy way to get started. Have fun extending Balloon Pop for your own applications. Over in Android, Wear OS is here. In collaboration with our joint platform with Samsung, the Google Pixel Watch is coming this fall, bringing together the best of Fitbit and Wear OS. We're also announcing the beta of Jetpack Compose for Wear OS. Now, with Compose Wear OS, you can bring your skills to build across form factors, from larger screens all the way down to the screen on your wrist. We've also added components such as navigation, scaling lazy lists, input and gesture support, and more. Health and fitness are also popular apps on wearables, and Health Connect, a new platform simplifying connectivity between apps, can help make it easier to reach more users with less work. Use a single set of APIs to securely access and share health data on all Android devices. Samsung Health, Fitbit, and Google Fit will all be adopting Health Connect. You can download the Health Connect SDK available as a Jetpack library. We can't forget about the large screens either. In 2022, we'll see more than 75 new Chromebook models and coming next year will be the Pixel tablet. And of course, for updates on developer productivity in Android, like multi-screen API, screen mirroring, and live edit, make sure to watch the full IO recap linked in the description. Up next is web.dev, where you can find updates to Chrome's performance improvements, which translate to faster experiences for you and your users. In the latest Chrome release, you can also find a new Performance Insights panel to DevTools. It provides contextual guidance right in your code on improving your vitals, making it a great companion to web.dev. And finally, we're working on the Privacy Sandbox to rethink online privacy and enable personalized experiences that don't rely on tracking users across apps or sites. Trial versions of the Privacy Sandbox APIs are currently being tested in Chrome. Moving on to Flutter, we're announcing Flutter 3, where you can build high-quality experiences for all six platforms all from a single code base, giving unparalleled productivity. There's also new performance tooling, Material 3, foldable device support, and new Dart language features that we think you'll enjoy. Flutter also unveiled the Flutter Casual Game Toolkit. It's a starter kit of resources, including a sample game, learning materials, community spaces, and more all so you can go quickly from a great idea to a published game. And lastly, Flutter support in Crashlytics is here. Track fatal and informational errors with the same set of features that are also available for iOS and Android. This will help resolve critical issues quickly before they impact a large number of users. Take advantage of these updates by adding the latest version of the Crashlytics for Flutter plugin to your app. Check out the post to find all the updates to Flutter. Let's get into Firebase, where we're launching the new App Quality Insights window in Android Studio. This will help you discover, investigate, and reproduce issues reported by Crashlytics, so you no longer have to switch between tools. Firebase extensions events are also available. 
allowing you to customize an extension with your own custom code. This way, the extension becomes the baseline for your integration while still allowing you to make it your own. To get started, visit the extensions page on the Firebase website. And lastly, Firebase App Check is now generally available where you can help safeguard your data, protect your users, and control who has access to your resources. You can use these app check protections with Firebase, Cloud, and even API endpoints on your own custom servers. Speaking of Cloud, there are some new updates here as well. With the newly announced Cloud Run jobs, you can execute code to completion on the same highly scalable Cloud Run platform only paying when your jobs are executing and without managing infrastructure. AlloyDB for PostgreSQL was also spotlighted. It's a new, powerful relational database from Google Cloud that is fully PostgreSQL compatible. AlloyDB is also highly available and is more than four times faster than standard PostgreSQL for transactional workloads. With ML-powered automated systems, you don't have to provision storage, manage memory, or worry about performance tuning. To learn more about all the Google I.O. announcements and updates, check out the full developer recap video, which will be linked in the description box below. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Emma for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Crashlytics. So you lo no longer, lo longer.